Hey folks, I'm Oz Lindlow from AZ Entertainment. Another Sunday, another fun, fabulous food down under with Conjurer of Anna Jane. And she's got with her today at 6 o'clock in the morning an award winning poultry producer right there in her kitchen who she's dragged out of bed, I have to say. And um, joining us on the panel once again is Chef Benjamin, I'll get his name right this time, Fisher. Um, let's, go, let's go say a quick hello to Benjamin before we head on over to Sydney. Hi, Ben. Hello there. How is everyone this evening? Um, I'm Chef Benjamin. Um, I'm a local food producer. I'm catering for weddings and big events down in the south of France. I'm um, glad that you're all here for watching this evening. I'm uh, looking forward to the duck. It's duck, is it? You've given the game away. Oh. Ben, Ben, Ben. You know I'm teasing you. <laughs> <laughs> I put that on um, thingy anyway. Right. Hi, AJ. Well, hello, everyone. And as you'll see, I'm in black and white because my iPad has made us go retro today. But not a big deal. And in a way, it's really good because you don't have to worry about makeup so much. <laughs> no, actually, I think I think it, it, it. I love the look, given your floor, you know? Quite becomes it. Oh, yeah. It's part of retro kitchen, so that's okay. Now, this here is the best poultry producer in Australia, Beth McMillan, and she's from Burrawong Guyan Poultry. And they are the only humane choice, yeah, the only humane choice poultry producer in Australia. That's right. In Australia, certified. Wow. And you taste, you know how I'm always saying the best produce? If you use Beth's produce, you always get a good result. It's much more forgiving because it's so natural. And, yeah, so Beth and I sort of correlate quite nicely. And she loves my spices. I love her duck. I love her Excellent. poultry. A great combination. Cool. Yeah. Tell us, what, what, are you, what, are you, what are you cooking in your retro kitchen tonight? Tonight we are, or this morning. Oh, this morning Australia. your time. This morning your time, yes. We are going to cook some beautiful duck breast. And what I've done is we're going to do a, a, um, an aromatic spice duck breast and then we're just going to do some, um, some shredded zucchini with it because it's quite flavoursome. If you have a look here, you can't see it because of the colour, but what I've done is I've soaked this duck breast in buttermilk and it's buttermilk made from the butter that Beth made yesterday. So okay. it's a really beautiful thing. And okay. um, so we're going to crust that and then we're going to do the zucchini. It's a very simple dish and I will put a, a spice mix up for everybody to make and I would encourage them to get the duck breasts. And the key with duck breasts is to... Take your time when you're rendering down the fat. That's really important. Because if you don't take your time rendering down the fat, everything burns and it's just not nice. And it's a bit greasy. Yeah. Okay. Whereas, but, so you don't need, what I'm saying is you don't need to actually put, uh, you don't need to put your, um, it into an absolutely cracking hot pan. Make it hot, but then just reduce you know, the heat. It's just very, very low to moderate. Yeah. And if just, I can, if I can, let me just take you back to your buttermilk. Um, can you explain that for our audience, please. Uh, well, I've bought myself a Thermomix, and so well, butter is one of the things that you can um, make with it. So uh, when you um, beat the, the butter. Uh, the cream, as, as it hardens up into butter, the buttermilk is what's left over and it's absolutely beautiful with poultry. And it's it's a well-known method for tenderising any meat. Not that these need tenderising at all, mm. Mm. but it's a really beautiful thing. Now, the other thing that I do that's a little bit different is rather than crust this up immediately, I'm going to put it in the pan for a little while just to Render soften a bit okay. and then I'll put the spice on. Okay. okay. Yeah, that, that's that's quite interesting because I I do come across quite a few people who will hit that um, duck with high heat, 
and that's not the way to do it, obviously, is it? Yeah, I no. generally put mine. Not if you want a really good result. Mm. What about you, Ben? Because I know you do a lot of duck too, don't yeah. you? You rear I, ducks? Do you rear ducks? I don't rear ducks. No, um, there's a lot of competition, so I, okay. I don't bother. I keep keep with the the chickens and uh, things like that. But um, no, with with duck, I cook a lot of it. Um, I tend to actually um, braise the duck in one pan first on very hot heat, and okay. then I transfer the duck to another pan um, so it doesn't obviously sit in all of that fat. Um, and then then I'll, I'll flambe it off with with you know some kind of okay. deglaze. So um, yeah, generally I, I use I cook it over two pans. But okay. no, it's an interesting concept. Great. Mm. All right. Let's let's head on head on over. So your pen pens nice and uh, warmed up, hot. I don't know that it is actually. It's no, not going to be a crackle. So let's move on, shall we? As soon as I get a crackle, then we'll go in. So the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of zucchinis, and I'm going to just shred them. Now you've got a, there's a device that you can get that's like a, a, a vegetable peeler that will do the slicing. I haven't been able to put my hands on one yet, so I'm using the kitchen tool of death. I'm using a mandolin that has a lovely thing that I insert that makes it really fine. And what do you think I've forgotten today? Come on, guess. A knife. A knife. Do you need a knife? You've got a mandolin. <laughs> right. While she's getting a knife, let me just tell everybody. Every, everyone's asking about the black and white. Where we're going for the Hitchcock experience today. See the real window? Okay. So now this pan is hot enough. Can you hear that? <laughs> Absolutely. A bit of sizzle, sizzle. Absolutely. So I'm just going to put that in and literally and immediately you get a retraction. So I'm going to hit turn that right down. Now, and you need that sizzle when it hits, but then you turn it right down. And then I'm just going to leave that there to soften for a minute, and then I'll put the spice on. Okay. okay. In the meantime, take your zucchini, cut the ends off, and you just need to then very, very carefully, because what you want is you want these spirally things. Fabulous. Mm. Okay. Now. I'm, I'm doing those and I'm just going to toss them through a pan with a bit of olive oil and a good salt and pepper and, mm. that, um, and then a squeeze of lemon juice and that will really bounce nicely off the duck. Okay, mind the fingers. How, how, thick is the, how, how thick is the layer of fat on those duck breasts? Okay. How, how thick are the layer of, is the layer of fat on the duck breasts? Oh, it's not thick. It's, it's relatively fine, isn't it? It's not quite so much... Uh, fat on our duck breasts because they're true free range, so they spend their whole time running around, which does improve the texture, decrease the fat yeah, levels, and increase and, the flavor. And hence the reason that you don't want to cook it on too much of a higher heat because obviously it's going to cook a lot more quicker. Um, I'm used to I'm used to a duck breast of you know a good centimeter, centimeter and a half kind of okay. fat on it. It really is thick. Interesting. Let me just let me just uh, say hello while AJ's um, messing about with the mandolin. Let me just go say hello to everyone in the audience. Uh, we've got Jamal, Bruno, Michael, June, Namal, Candy from Japan, Nazim from um, Italy, uh, Chef Nell, who's taken some time off. Um, oh, Jeff, what were you saying? You took your coat off and had your shoes on. I don't know. She she said something earlier about working too hard this weekend. Um, hi all. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spice the duck now. It's okay. A little bit. Okay. Now I don't know what anybody else does, but I think the best way to coat anything is in a plastic bag. Mm. It probably doesn't look as fabulously professional as going like this in the thing, but I find it very effective. Oh no, plastic bags are very good for recycling. Hey? The plastic bags are the best idea. You you can't get yeah, a good place to measure without a plastic bag. Just get it in there, give it a good whiz around. And it's a really aromatic mix. It's not a particularly spicy, like really hard spice mix, is it, Beth? No. Beth's very fond of this mix. Um so you've got a nice cover. Oh wow, yes, it has taken on the spices very well. Yep, and then back into the pan, and that's just going to reduce really. 
Mm. And what what uh, what what's your heat now at the moment? Is it medium? No, it's closer to oh, uh, medium. I'd say, wouldn't you? Yeah. Okay. Low. We've got we've got a we've got a comment here from. Um, I'll bring up a couple of comments. One of them is from June, who says, "Please tell me how these two ladies look so great at six a.m. in the morning." Well, we switched to black and white to solve that problem. <laughs> I like that. And Candy says sometimes we just don't need color. Oh, I know. And I, I think food is the exception with that, but I don't know why it went like this, and I'm not worried about it. But now you can see here that one zucchini does a lot of. A wow. Lot of yes, you variety. do have a lot there. Mm. Yeah, so one zucchini is enough. So if you were cooking for two, I allow one zucchini per person because it's rather nice to have it as a bed to put your duck on. Mm. Okay. Excellent. So um, we we've got um, uh, Benjamin. What's your favourite way of cooking with duck? Oh, it's definitely um, like I said earlier on. I think it's it's definitely to cook in two pans. Um, to start with a, a flat frying pan, heavy based. Um, cook it down in the pan, and then afterwards, flavors. Transfer, flavors. It to, um, transfer it to a griddle pan, and um, really, you know, cook cook the the flesh side, the meat side, um, okay. get some nice colouring on that, um, and obviously it looks better for the end overall dish. Um, and any any time that you can add brandy, things like that, um, to to a pan, um, and also fruit works very well with duck. I I like to serve it with blueberries and um, okay, excellent. So, yeah, it does have I an actual affinity. Yeah, go on, AJ, back to you. I just wish you could smell this. Yes, it's starting to smell very nice. What do, what do you smell? Aromatic. What do you smell? Describe it to us. What do you smell? Well, it's, it's aromatic, isn't it? So you've got the spiciness in there, but you've, you've got your, you know, your cinnamon and your things like that. And it's just really, really gorgeous. And you can see, actually, I'll just show you. I don't know whether you can, but they're starting to brown. Okay. Really nice there. Okay. Cool. Excellent. And that's just a time thing, so we need to make small talk in the meantime. I don't um, know about you, AJ, but my mouth is really watering now. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely dinner time here. It's definitely okay. dinner time here. I'll, I'll also I'll also say a quick I'll say a quick hello to Maurice Thompson, who's watching us through a share I made. Hi, Maurice. Thank you so much for watching again. Um, so, what are you going to do with the courgettes, uh, the zucchini? We call it courgettes. Do you guys Sorry, call it zucchini? Yes. You call it zucchini in Australia? No, it's... Yeah, Italian influence again. Yeah, um, okay. But with the courgettes, put a good whack of olive oil in a pan. Um, and some butter. Okay. The other, the other thing that I'm very fond of doing is putting a bit of garlic in. But with this particular thing, I, I probably won't put garlic in very simply because um, there's garlic. I put garlic in the mix. Okay. okay. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. Let me bring up a comment here from Michael Thomas in Indianapolis. Every time I say Indianapolis, I go. God didn't make those little green apples. You know that song? Anyway, he said, my favorite way to cook duck is to sear the outside textures and then slow and low. Slow and low. Yep, there we slow go. and low. Michael's right. My, AJ, Michael's, like, um, Michael's, a, Michael's a, a chef, by the way. So. Yeah. Do you, um, do you cook your um, duck rare? Um, or do, you, do you leave some blood in the middle? Or do you leave it leave it sort of, sort of, sort of quite pinky? Or oh, it's going to be pink. The way through? The other thing I'm doing is, I don't know whether people, probably a lot of people know, but if you put butter and oil together, it won't burn. Yeah. And it just gives a really nice, lush. Yeah, we've got see there that I've got quite a good whack of oil and butter, probably too okay. much, but you can't really have too much, can you? <laughs> we've, got, we've got a beauty comment here. Let me just bring that up. From Jamal Asi. Um, Jamal, where are you these days? Back in Jordan. Jamal says, Chef Benjamin Fisher, I like your haircut, Chef. Oh, there you go. Mm. <laughs> I don't know whether you can see this here, but, and I'll take a photo in colour and put it up. But yeah. These are beautifully brown. Fabulous. And rendered dark. 
She's <laughs> And you should always let your duck rest mm. after mm. you cook it. We probably won't have time this morning. We'll probably let it just, you know, rest on the plate. Uh, are, you um, using, are you using salted butter? Question from the audience. Um, I just have to check. No, it's unsalted. But okay. if, if it was salted, I'd use it. I just adjust the seasoning, seasoning accordingly. Okay. I'm not, cool. I'm not hard and fast on the unsalted butter piece. Mm. So let me let me just let me just bring bring your attention to the actual. I'm going to go back to AJ as I'm talking. Look, the sun's come up now, and you can see out her window. What did I tell you about our Hitchcock impression rear window? There you go. Are you paying attention, audience? Now to the this, just so you know, um, this duck is pretty well ready. It doesn't take long to cook, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'll rest it in the zucchini plate. Give that a good sip of that cream. It really does look lovely, AJ. You have done so a really good job there. So the, the the duck's been cooked in spices. AJ's on mix of cinnamon and um, what else, AJ? I think by the time it's ready, do you or not? I AJ, what, what, went to, what went to the spice mix that you cook the duck with? Oh, well, I'll put all that up, Aslan, but it's, it's you know, it's, it's got lots of aromats in it. Okay. So it's got like peppers and it's, it's also got um, cinnamon and a bit of nutmeg, you know, okay. all those things. Mm, lovely. All right, so the duck uh, is done. So I've also put in a bit of five spice, so. Okay, yes. That's that. So AJ's done the um, the duck, which she lightly spiced and she quickly fried. Now she's just sweating some zucchini, um, julienne oh, zucchini so that she easy. did with the uh, mandolin. So that's what she's doing right now. And this so is the just the milk is very good as well for the for you know for rendering the fat. That seems um seems, it's, I've never heard of anybody soaking the buttermilk into the the duck breast before, but um a lot of the time when we cook whole ducks. We tend to dip them into hot water first um, to sort of, you know, release the layer of fat off. And I, I'd imagine it's something very quite, kind of similar. It, it helps get the, the flavour and the spices into the meat. Okay. Benjamin, the other thing that may interest you is Beth, in another life, had pigs as well. Ah, lovely. Oh. The, the bestest of friends in... The, the best on the table. You can eat everything. Now, but this you're... is really important, sorry to interrupt. You don't want to overcook this. You just mm. want it to wilt, and that's it. So it's wilted. So for me. So uh, Beth, how how long have you been farming? Uh, about four years now. Um, <laughs> I've been here. I've got, I've got a very small piece of land, um, just enough for about eight pigs, um, about fifty chickens. Um, and we just sort of turn it over because obviously, you know, I like to cook all of my own ingredients and bring them to parties um, and festivals and events. Um, you know, I do a small amount of um, produce um, to cook for myself and to show my skills off, um, which I, I, I prefer. Okay. I'm, I'm still listening, but because AJ's dishing up, I thought we just watch her dishing up. So she's just, she's just um, served up with the kidneys. Yeah, with the zucchinis, and what I've done is I've just piled them up like that. I've got okay. some pepper, and I've okay. just again, use really good pepper, really good salt. It just makes all the difference in the world. Okay? Mm. And I am just going to have a bit of a... Okay, while AJ is trimming the duck, let's let let me uh, direct my earlier question to Beth now. How long have you been farming, Beth? Uh, since two thousand and nine, my husband and I are actually both school teachers, and I still teach full time. Um, okay. But we wanted to have a change of lifestyle and grow product that was ethically grown and good for you. Excellent. That's 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 lovely. It it is lovely to be able to grow your own stuff. Um, I I can I would imagine. Yes, and um, here in Australia, 
a lot of the top chefs around the country prefer to use our chickens and ducks to oh. anybody else. That's fabulous. Yeah. And you're the only um, humane, what, what were you saying, what was AJ saying right at the start of the show? Um, it's humane choice. It's a, a certification for true free range and the chickens and the ducks and our geese and other poultry were the only ones. There, there's one turkey producer that is humane choice, but okay. no one else does duck or chicken. That's right. Right. Yeah, just have one quick question for you. It, it's, it's a really, really... It's a happy place. You can see it in the in the produce. That is a really fantastic title, isn't it? To be the only uh, poultry um, chicken and duck producer having that title. That's amazing. You must really be proud because you've not done it for long. No, it's been a gradual, um, been a gradual journey. And uh, the farm that we bought, we actually uh, process all the birds on site ourselves too, and I think that makes a big difference to the flavour and texture of the birds because they're not as stressed. Mm. Yeah, and they're not moving oh, a great okay. I'm just going to put a little bit of lemon. Uh, sorry, it looks like a lemon, but it's actually a lime. Hey, look the same to us. It's black and white. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> and those lovely juices that came out while it was resting, always throw those over the top. And these are oh, my new little micro herbs from the garden. Mm. Which, you know, I just think are really pretty. And what time is it? Um, plenty of time yet. Still still twenty two past the hour. Am I your quickest person? Yeah, you're the quickest chef. You're definitely the quickest chef. I'm still I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna do this black and white. There we I go. Will do it put it up. Yeah, you do that. Yeah. Done. Thank you. That looks that looks fabulous. That looks fabulous. It's it's the cooking it's the cooking process um, that we wanted to see really because I think not many people are as comfortable um, cooking duck as they are chicken. So to see how quickly you've done that, um, AJ. But this is the thing, and this is my thing in life. Cooking is simple unless you make it complicated. You can do wonderful, wonderful dishes. Like yesterday, we had lunch, and I did three courses, and it was all easy, easy, easy. Mm. It's all to do with, you know, I'm going to take a, a shot of this now so that um, we can have breakfast. Because <laughs> <it's hard. laughs> so, so it, it, AJ's yeah. having duck for breakfast today. You know, whatever she cooks, she has for breakfast. So. She, she she ducks ducks no. Oh, wow. That's weird. It's a bit rich, and I'm having duck for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the best was was, was you had oysters, didn't you, for for breakfast? I did. Sometimes. <laughs> In France, you eat oysters for breakfast quite regularly, um, Aslim. Do you eat what oysters for breakfast? Yeah, oysters for breakfast. I went to the market this morning. I had a couple of oysters. Ah. Some, some white wine. It's it's a normal French thing. Um, ah. quite often past the market and uh, it's it's sort of a, a tab to not get you in the door to eat them because they're so ah. beautiful. And that's, um, you are a man of that my heart. I can tell. That's, that's fantastic. Let me just bring up a conversation that's been taking place in the audience, okay? Um, here we've got Bruno Miguel Santos says, in the name of Daffy Duck, I have to say it's a delicious atrocity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> why, why don't you... Why don't you hunt rabbits? So, in response oh. to that, MJJ Naval Diaz goes, Bruno Miguel Santos, two of my pet rabbits died two days ago. <laughs> yes, I know. I had to bring that up. Sorry. Oh, dear. That's, an, that's a hashtag awkward. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is, it is rather so funny. So we, we, we could, in fact, do... I can do rabbit for you one day if you wish. That would be lovely. I love I love rabbit. Yes. That would be lovely. So, All right, um, so that was quick and easy. So AJ, uh, run through the recipe. Run through the recipe. Tell us what you did very quickly. Okay. So basically, you do the zucchini so it's in really tiny thin strips like that. <laughs> oh, it tastes good. He has and to. then you. With your with the duck, 
I'll put this recipe up so you can grab it, there's no problem. You heat the pan, but not so it's searingly hot, but so that when you put the duck in it, you'll get a little bit of a sizzle, then turn it down and give it time to render, because duck needs to render on a medium to low heat. Mm. And the other thing that I did was before we, before I even got to the duck, I marinated it in lovely buttermilk that Beth had given me. Mm. Because whatever meat you're using, if you use buttermilk and marinate it, or even milk, I believe, but buttermilk is better, it will soften whatever meat you're using. These don't need it, but you don't want to waste it, do you then? No. Um, so then I gently put the duck breasts in, got a bit of a sizzle, did them for probably 45 seconds to a minute, then took them out, then coated them with the spice, and I used a bag to do that yep. because it's just the easiest way. Then I put them back in skin side down so that they rendered, and then I turned them over, and they really only took a few minutes. These mm. are little and delicious, aren't they? They're really, really good. And, and it's that simple. And then we put butter and oil together for the zucchini or the courgette mm. into a pan, when it's hot, stick your give it a bit of a toss around, and then take it out. I don't care whether you use salted or unsalted butter. It just mm. doesn't matter because you can season at the end. Take it out, put it on the plate, put salt and pepper on it, and taste as you go through with everything. Um, I've done this often enough that I don't need to, but if you're just cooking for the first time, taste as you go through. And interestingly enough, with the duck, if you want to know when it's ready, gently put your fingers together, just so they're touching, not pushing, just touching, and press this part, the pad of your thumb. Mm -hmm. And if it's that, if that's what it's like when you push into it, mm -hmm. you'll have perfectly cooked duck. Is that right? Is that what you do? Um, no, I just look at it. <laughs> she looks at it because she does duck all the time. But let me. Let me just bring up. That's a great way to tell. Let me just bring up. Thanks for that, Adrian. Let me just bring up a question here. Um, right at the start, I asked um, about buttermilk. Um, so, um, let me just bring this comment up. How to? Uh, how do we get buttermilk for those of us who don't have it around, or is there a substitute? I think perhaps that's what. Just milk. Yeah, you could just use you can milk. Use just milk, but buttermilk is. Um, sorry, I had to try some. <laughs> Well, buttermilk is available in a lot of uh, a lot of shops these days. Oh, is it? Okay, that's that's quite interesting. Um, and you you made yours, um, Beth. You made yours um, in a thermal mix. You said. Yes, yes. You just take your carton of cream, six hundred ml carton of cream, and follow the recipe. Iced water is about the only other thing you have to use. It's it's really very easy in the thermo mix, and then you just have to separate the butter and the buttermilk. Okay, right. Cool. Yeah. That's excellent. For those of you who have thermal mixes, well, there you go. We don't get thermal mixes in the UK. They're not sold here, apparently. Um, really? So have it. Yes, Ben. Uh, yes, Ben. Right. You were going to say? We we don't I have them. No, not in France. You need to get one, AJ. Mm -hmm. Right. All righty. So there you have it, folks. First. Um, cooking show in black and white um, <laughs> because we can you see um, so there we go we had duck spiced duck lightly cooked quickly cooked duck on a bed of um, courgettes and um, that was another episode of fun Fabulous food down under I'm going to let chef Benjamin say um, a, a goodbye before goodbye uh, thank you everyone for joining us tonight and watching the show it's been really good to see AJ cook again and um, I look forward to uh, Doing a, a little something for you soon. Yeah, soon. We are waiting for that. Definitely. Next week, um, Savor the Flavor comes back with Joy Stewart, west coast of the US of A. She'll be doing the cooking for us. We have yet to find out what newlywed Joy's got. I still call her newlywed. She's been married about five, six months, but you know, never mind. So, Joy will be here next week. AJ, um, before I let you take us out, thank you so much, Beth for taking the time to join us today. We really, truly appreciate um, the time you've taken for this.
Oh, the pleasure's all mine. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you. AJ, I'll let you take us out. Well, thanks, everyone. It was great to cook for you, and I look forward to doing it again. And if you've got any suggestions about what you'd like me to cook next, feel free to put them up because I'll run with that. Cool. And when, what date is it that we see each other next? Well, the third week of March is um, happens to be my birthday, so we'll talk about that one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we shall see. No, no, no worries, no worries. When you have four kids, you know, you don't have an evening. So, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, and on that note, thank you so much for joining us. We shall see you again real soon. Bye, all. Bye.